Okay, so just to recap, let's talk about the benefits we've talked about so far. We know that the oodle tip is disposable. We know that the tip is attached. We know the tip is versatile. It can do 15 plus traditional tip decorations. We know that it has a proprietary ribbon design, which makes our cupcakes and other decorating look professional. What else can it do? Besides the fact that it's clean and it's fast and it's easy. Well, a benefit that occurred to me about a year ago when I was entertaining, I had a party for about 40 or 50 people at the time, is I started to prepare my food as I always do the night before. Except this time when I was making stuffed shells and my stuffed mushrooms, instead of filling them and putting the trays in the refrigerator, I decided to put the filling in the oodle tip, put it in the refrigerator, and then I would fill the mushrooms and the shells the next day right before I was ready to bake them. And the reason I did that, not because I was so smart and I said, oh my goodness, this will save on space, but because I ran out of space and I had so much food in the refrigerator, I didn't have an alternative. So I either had to make the stuff the next day or I could make it the night before and put it in an oodle tip and save on that refrigerator room. So again, that's what I did. I worked the night before, cooked everything, put the stuffed mushroom stuffing in an oodle tip bag after it cooled, of course, stuck it in the refrigerator. I made the mozzarella and the ragot and the stuffing for the stuffed shells. I was making Italian stuffed shells, put that in a bag, stuck it in the refrigerator. The next day, just before I baked it, I stuffed the stuffed mushrooms and the stuffed shells literally in about three minutes, stuck them in the oven. It saved on space in my refrigerator, it saved on time, and you know what? They were fresher. Instead of stuffing them the night before and getting everything dried out, everything was fresh. It was fantastic. Okay, so instead of talking about it, let's actually fill an entire tray of deviled eggs from some deviled egg mixture I made last night and put in the refrigerator. I have here a platter. I put the egg whites, the cooked egg whites, if you will, in each slot. This is an Easter tray. Again, most of my time last night was boiling the eggs, peeling the eggs, cutting them open, making the mixture. I like to do a small to medium cut on this. Let's see how long this takes us. Ready? I want you to start timing. Ready? Almost done. You can do this right before your guests get there. Because how many of you have done this ahead of time and tried to cover it because you don't want it smelling up the refrigerator and your whole refrigerator smells like eggs. That's just, unfortunately, that's just what deviled eggs smell like. We're done. That's it. Let's decorate it. Voila. Throw away the bag. You don't have to take off a tip.